Director of the Karabakh Foundation, and we, uh, our mission is to celebrate the country of Azerbaijan, the culture, the arts, and the heritage. Yes. And <laughs> we have some fans here today, carefully placed. <laughs> uh, I guess some of you uh, heard Imam Yar Hasanov play Mugam before. We didn't have a chance to talk much, but I hope you spoke with him afterwards. He is. He's a master um, of Mugam, and it's very difficult to put in words until you've heard, but you can see the kinship with American jazz. Um, now we're going to focus on Azerbaijani dances. And I'm going to start by introducing my good friend Ikram Jalil, uh, who is a student here in the United States, and his friend Delia Ahmadova, going to perform for us two dances. The first dance is called Lesginka, nice. and it can be performed as a solo, duet, or group dance. When dancing Lesginka, men and women are dressed in traditional costumes. Men wear a sword, don't you kids get any ideas, adorned on their side, and women wear long flowing dresses. The man imitates an eagle, dancing in quick, concise steps, falling to his knees, leaping quickly. The woman dances quietly, because her skirt is long, the small steps make her appear to be floating. When the dance is performed in pairs, the couples do not touch. They acknowledge each other, and the woman dances discreetly around the man. The second dance, should have asked how to pronounce it, but I think it's Khan Kobani, is Azerbaijan's national dance, developed in the Shivran territory. And it's named after what the people of Shivran called themselves in the 17th and 18th centuries and only men perform in this dance. <laughs>
you a little something about the nomad dancers that you just saw. Uh, how about another hand for them too? They were wonderful to come and, and work with us today on Azerbaijani dances. Um, they are a collective, Washington DC, and they're inspired by the traditions of India, Persia, Central Asia, and Turkey. And they travel across borders, bridge cultures, in search of the ultimate dance experience. They also rep they present Azeri, Uzbek, Uyghur, Gypsy, Middle Eastern traditional folkloric dances, as well as Bollywood and fusion choreographies at cultural events in our area. So again, I want to thank them for being with us. Lala is a dance from Azerbaijan. The name of the song means, my name is Red Tulip. This dance represents tulips blossoming during the spring. Throughout the dance, the opening and closing action of the flower petals are represented by the dancer's arms. The flower's full blossom is celebrated with both arms open and spinning. The tulip's long stem and petals are demonstrated by arms located above the head and dancers standing on their tiptoes with their elongated poses. The flower's relationship with wind and water is also demonstrated throughout the dance with swinging and swaying wrist movements. Enjoy.
Contemporary fusion of music and dance themes from Azeri and Persian heritage. In Azerbaijan, the gavel or frame drum is the most popular accompaniment for traditional folk dances.